Hello guys, what's up? I'm Suresh from the SketchUp Argus Studio. Today we have some different tutorial about the urban design and city planning and it's about the sidewalk 3D modeling in SketchUp. So before we start this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. I'm gonna start with the line option in here and my unit is the meter. So I'm gonna draw some line about for example 12 meter and another line about the uh for example 8 meter now i'm going to use the tape measure in here like that very simple and easy and i need some sidewalk with some dimension about 2 meter so i'm going to type 2 and press enter and another 2 and press enter like this i'm going to select these two lines in here and use the offset option in here and type 2 meter and press enter all right, now I'm going to delete this option in here and delete the previous line in this place. So uh, I'm going to use two point and tape measure tool again. So I need, for example, one meter from this edge and another one meter from this edge in here and use the two point arc from this point to this point with some budge about maybe I think 0 0.3 is good and delete these extra lines in here so i want to delete these tape measures again and use the offset option again about two meter all right i'm going to close this pole line or the spline or everything you call it like that and now i'm going to use the uh, push or pull option in this place so i'm going to push it a little bit about 20 centimeter and now I'm gonna edit one of these places for a people who can't walk. So I'm gonna use the tape measure option in here and add some dimensions, for example, three centimeter. And we have some type of laws and provinces in the different countries. And you must do, go and study the sign, sign books about manipulations and city management so i'm gonna draw some line about one meter in here use the rectangle box in this place and click this line rectangle and another rectangle like that so uh everything is good right now so i'm gonna use this line in here and press delete so I'm going to use the align option here from these vertex to this vertex and another from these place to this place. So my ramp has been done for the people who can't walk and it's about this point. So now in this place I'm going to add my material to the floor. So I'm going to open the material place in here and I'm going to use the uh, landscape fencing or vegetation or i can use the uh, brick laden and sliding so i'm going to check which one is better i think bricks is not useful in this case so i'm going to search in the landscape i want some pavers like that for example something like this is good and i want to add it to my job so i'm going to click on it click on the edit option in here check the colors everything is good i'm going to increase the texture size to the one meter and now i'm going to adjust my texture but how i'm going to select the face who have this texture on it right click texture position and now i can use this arrow and help keys to change my textures with the rotate option i can peach my texture for example i want some peached texture in here about the uh, 45 and I can scale my texture very simple and easy I think this type of thing is good I can move my texture basic bases in here I think something like that is really wonderful and I can distort my texture like that but we don't need it right now and the last option is the scale option I can change my scale of the texture something like this or i can make it a little bit compact and it's good i'm going to use the select option here and my texture has been set for me so 
Now I'm going to click on it and convert it to the group. Now I have different type of components in here. I'm going to search for it. For example, for example, we have these street lights in here. I'm going to adjust it, one of them in this place, like that. For example, this one will be better in this place. I'm going to select this edge in here and move it in this place. It's not work, so you can easily explode it, very simple and easy. Now you can use the move option in here and change the uh, position of your object, very simple. Another time I'm going to select this one and change the uh, placement of it, very simple and easy. And now I can take some copies in the different directions. For example, something like that is good. And I want to adjust it from this point to this point. So, as you can see, we have these objects in here. Very nice and good. So, I can add some type of personages for my job. Very simple and easy. Or, if you want to use it on your renders, you can use the uh, seal out or the shallow woman in here for example or the man in here and it's much realistic than these type of objects in this place so i think everything is good right now i only looking for some type of objects like the mailbox i can put it in this place something like that something in here and about the buildings, how we can create the buildings. You can click on your rectangle option in here and draw some rectangle like this, very simple and easy, with some dimension like that. Or it's the green area. And for example, it's the park. You can add some type of offset on it. Use the material box in here, grass, and add it to your screen. So. This is one of the uh, side box you can create in the uh, SketchUp. You can select all of them, convert it to the uh, group, and now you can move it from this place to this place. And now I'm going to show you how you can add some type of animation on it. It depends on your sense and your cameras. So I'm going to start with the uh, camera number one. For this reason, I'm going to click on the send option in here and press extra option in this place so it's enough for me i'm going to come back to the shadows now i'm going to turn on the shadows in here something like that change the uh, shadow in here use some for the shading i can change the darkness or the lightness and i'm going to right click on it and update my scene this is my scene one and another something like that with some different things in here this is my send to so when i change it back to the same one and send to i can create some simple city animation i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe our youtube channel and goodbye